20% of Americans suffer from some autoimmune disease, and women are more likely to be affected than men. That makes it one of the most common women's health issues, but few people talk about it. Dr. Joshua Redd is a chiropractic physician who helps people deal with this problem. What is an autoimmune disease? An autoimmune disease is when uh, your body basically creates these antibodies to destroy tissue, and there could be multiple tissues being destroyed at one time, and then they'll clarify that which autoimmune disease it is by what tissue is being destroyed. Are there symptoms that someone can see that they think, oh, I might have an autoimmune disease? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's, uh, they'll have joint pain, muscle pain, uh, fatigue, swelling, inability to lose weight, anxiety, restlessness, chronic headaches, things like that. So what is it with these autoimmune diseases that makes someone feel worse? What is it that's happening? There's actually a thing called a Th17 pathway. This is your body's autoimmune, this is how your immune system functions basically. When this Th17 pathway increases, this is going to cause two things. Your body's going to create a lot of inflammation, but it's also going to cause more tissue destruction as well, which will cause the patient to feel a lot worse. Are there some things that a person can do that, that that are bad that increase that TH17? Uh, yeah, absolutely. There, there's dietary things, and, but every patient is drastically different. So there could be a couple of foods that cause it to flare up and destroy tissue. There could be cortisol defects, hormonal imbalances, physiological imbalances, intestinal problems, uh, lots of different things like that. There's usually about eight to ten different imbalances that are causing this to flare up and destroy more tissue and causing problems. So, so what can you do to help a patient like this if they have some Well, problem? the most important thing is because you see how many problems that there are and how many triggers there can be in one person's body. The thing is, is going and really diagnosing each and every problem and every trigger. And then we customize the treatment plan to figure out how we can go in and decrease all these triggers and kind of tame this autoimmune disease immensely from destroying tissue at a rapid pace. And that can, you know, that leads to help these patients have a lot better quality of life and be able to function again and all that stuff. That almost sounds a little too ambitious because there are so many triggers that it could be. Are, are you able to actually identify Absolutely. some we, of these? We do very very sophisticated testing and we're able to pinpoint each and every little trigger. But it's not as simple as what may, you know many pe you know patients might think. There's lots of different triggers. So this is why a patient might go to their physician and get rid of one trigger but still feel awful and see little to no improvement. We go in and there's lots of other different there's triggers. There's lots of other triggers. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, and it takes a lot of work on our part as doctors, but also a lot of work on the patient's part as well. Because let's say there's two foods that cause it to flare up. Well, they got to avoid those two foods like rat poison. If they don't, that will cause more inflammation and stress in the body, which will in turn cause the problems with what we're trying to correct. So, it's very detailed, very specific, and what you know. But when we go in and diagnose this correctly, though, the patients have a lot better outcome and feel a lot better. Well, and what kind of results do you see from that? Then we see phenomenal results. Just give me an idea. We had a patient who texted me over the the holiday that said. Hey, Thank you for giving my wife back. I haven't seen my wife like this in nine years. She has the energy and she's happy and she's able to function like she, she was nine years ago. Um, you know, a lot of our patients, they don't function well. For example, another patient, uh, her son was asked to draw a picture of her at school and she drew, uh, he drew a picture of her in her bed just wow. sleeping because that's how he knew his mom. And now she's able to function, she's able to exercise, she's able to be the mom again and, and do the things that she wants to do there. So, If this is something that might be resonating with someone, how do they get more information to find out? Well, they can go onto her website and see testimonials at www.drjoshuared.com or you can call us and get a free consultation at 801-446-2822. Okay. So. Might be an idea for some people out there, and of course, we'll link you from our website as well. Thanks for stopping Thanks in. Thanks for having me.